Welcome, come on in to Unit 12A at 240 Riverside Boulevard. This is a special apartment. This is one of the most dramatic living spaces that we've seen in over 20 years in real estate in New York City. What do you think? I love it. Hear the echo? I mean, this is essentially a townhouse in the sky. It's 4,020 square feet. It's five bedrooms. How many baths? Five baths. Yeah, and it is just palatial. We are in the pavilion section, which is this gorgeously rounded upper northernmost part in Riverside Boulevard. It's really kind of the crown of Riverside Boulevard, and it sits with these unobstructed views. Unobstructed views that you're enjoying from your 300 square foot private wrap terrace. I just start craving champagne the moment that I look at this. You're stepping out, you're looking at the Hudson River, you're taking in the park. I don't think you get that every day as a New Yorker with your view, like a front row seat to nature. Picturesque, panoramic view of New York City that everybody dreams about. But Hootie, we have 4,000 square feet to explore. We do, but look at the volume of space here. I think they're 19 foot ceilings. I'll go on record with that. Hootie has a laser measurer, so follow up with us when you come in person person and we'll verify. This is actually one of my favorite rooms. This can be your formal dining area. How many people can we have in here, Hoonie? Probably 15. Yeah. 15 with cozy furniture, space, spacious elbow room because I'm a lefty and plenty of space for more furniture and artwork as well. I want to pause one more on how this is your entertaining apartment. You have a little wet bar here, you have a wine cooler, Mikasa Ebony cabinetry, and here's where we'll enjoy the cocktails. So the owners had set this up as a media room. It could obviously be a fifth bedroom, but they used to have a screen that would drop down here for family movie night. How cool is that? I'm in for all of it. You do have a second um, entrance here to go out onto the balcony. And again, it wraps the entire width of your condo. You do have this elevator from the media room that goes directly up to the primary bedroom. What is unique to this apartment? Mooney, let's go find out where we make the popcorn for our movie night. Oh, let's do it. What's your favorite popcorn? What am I making you? Um, definitely kettle corn. Kettle corn? Yeah, I like that little salty, sweetness? sweet, crunchiness. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like the one popcorn I don't know how to make. All right, to-do list that I can write on these massive islands. You have beautiful stone countertops, tons of storage, wolf range, a huge sub-zero fridge. Look at your view. Again, there's no brick walls. You have this peaceful, rambling south and east exposure. It's really dynamic. It's also really quiet and private, which I love. This is where most of the family is gonna be eating most of the time. This is informal dining. You have storage behind you, but it's a nice separate space from the living entertaining space. Oh, actually, and now I think it's time to get on to the storage because there's some great closets Ooh, downstairs. We I love have... good storage. So I've chosen this bedroom for you. Harry Potter room, yeah. bring it on. But it's huge storage, goes underneath the staircase. Who doesn't need storage in New York City? In your entry foyer, that's where you can have your hub for your entertainment system, but as well as like your coat drop. Going in this way. This has been built out with beautiful custom cabinetry. If you wanted to make this into a bedroom, again, guys, the proportion. Every bedroom in this condo could have a king-size bed and a delicious amount of space around it. This could actually be the best view in the house. The shimmering water, I feel like it's meditative. I think this is somewhere I would end up like zenning out every day if I lived here. All right, I think I should follow you to the primary suite. Oh, let me show you this primary suite, because this primary suite is not just a primary suite, it is a hotel suite. You're first greeted by this gorgeous view. They had a beautiful, luxurious, king-size bed in here, and it just keeps going. I mean, it really is impressive. You have a dressing area with a full walk-in closet here. This is a safe for all your diamonds. 
This is like your morning coffee area. It's that transition between waking up and getting started. Oh my God, you come in, you put your cozy bathrobe on. I also like that it's a quiet moment before you feel like you're starting your day. Five, fixture bath, soaking tub. This is one of my New York dreams, is to have a juicy soaking tub with a view. Got my candles, I've got my book. You have a really spacious shower here, dual sinks, tons of storage space. All right, I have more bedrooms for you to see. For some reason I really love this room specifically. Look at this view. It never gets old. It also has this really delicious mixture of nature and urban living. Our client says you have diamonds and rubies of the lights moving back and forth. That visual, as you can see, just makes me smile, but we have more rooms to see. This is a laundry room, which people don't actually get very often in New York City. A proper laundry room. A proper laundry room. You've got a huge whirlpool vented washer dryer, plenty of storage for cleaning supplies. The other thing is, you have a second entrance here. Okay, so this is the last bedroom oh, up wow. here. It may be my favorite. Look at this window. It's amazing. The connection with nature, with Riverside Park there, with the water. I mean, it's just a very ethereal experience. So the first and only tenants in the apartment were my parents. They lived just around the corner on 72nd Street and had never wanted to move because they loved the view. And one day they were walking in Riverside Park and they saw this building under construction and they said, maybe we would move there. So they got into one of the construction elevators, you know, the ones that are on the outside of the building, which was very exciting for them and got to see the space in its raw form. And they just knew when they saw what the view would be looking north, up towards the George Washington Bridge and west to New Jersey and the overlook of Riverside Park. They just said that that was the place for them. It's a unique view in Manhattan. You know, most places you're either looking, you know, maybe you'll see the park, you'll see some other buildings, but here you have this unobstructed view north as you look over Riverside Park. You know nothing will ever be built there. You could always see in the, in the winter the people sledding and the spring and the summer, once the, the foliage came out, it really looked like what my mother described it as a, uh, a green ceiling over the park. But even in the fall, watching the leaves change, and then you can look out over and you can see there's two dog parks down there. They have them separated for little dogs and big dogs. And you can see just a lot of vibrancy of the things that are really sort of special to the city. For someone with young families in this space, it's really a pretty special building. The fact that there's parking in the basement made it incredibly convenient to drive in either in the morning or the evenings. Playroom, which was a great place to go to help the kids burn off energy, especially if the weather wasn't great. And then there were these uh, swimming pools, which were, an, again, another great place to go just to have the kids you know, have an activity. We took advantage of the amenities, as did my parents. Uh, they had a personal trainer who would meet them there, which they really liked just because it was very easy and uh, no uh, no inertia for them to overcome to get downstairs to go exercise. And it was a very well-maintained, uh, well well-appointed exercise room. The sauna and the showers and the steam room in there were always sort of a nice thing. My wife is an amateur triathlete and she loved all the equipment they had there. When you're in a building of this nature, you probably have expectations about the building staff and what it's gonna be like. And my mother really spoke very highly about how meticulously maintain the building is. And the lobby is a great example. There's fresh flowers that are out every week. And even as guests, when my family was there, the, the front staff, you know, when I was the concierge or the, or the people on the door, were always incredibly friendly. They would always say things like, welcome home. That's an incredible neighborhood. If you love the Upper West Side, it's so, um, it's such a special position because you've got this little quiet nook on Riverside Boulevard where you have access to the highway very easily and to the, the parks and everything. There's not a lot of traffic down there. Just two blocks from Broadway. You're, you know, it's a quick walk to Lincoln Center or to Zabar's, um, or even over to Central Park, and you're very quick access to, to the subway. And I think if you like the hustle and bustle of the city, or you like being able to take advantage of those features of the city, but maybe don't want to be in the thick of it all the time, that's sort of my hope. As someone who wants to embrace the city in that way. And hopefully someone who's got sort of a big family or multi-generational family, because I think it's it, the space lends itself to that. It's, it's a grand space. And knowing you live there, I think is really a gift. And so I hope someone sort of looks forward to unwrapping that gift. 
The service and crew here are absolutely superb. You've got 15,000 square feet of amenity space. Two pools, two saunas, two steam rooms. Clearly there's a theme, one I for I see Hoonie. a trend, yeah, <laughs> I see a trend here. <laughs> one for you, one for me, yeah. one for you. Um, gym, courtyard, everything is meticulously maintained. You will be happy every day you live in this building. I'm excited for the next person to kind of pass on that torch to. I think that's really lovely, someone to start creating new memories in this townhouse in the sky. Thank you, come call us Bye. and see it.